Uh, hi everyone, in this section we are going to discuss about how we can change IP address of DNA center or uh, how we can add multiple interfaces, okay, and then we can change the IP address. So if you want to change the IP address, first of all you have to take uh, uh, remote access via, uh, via SSH of uh, DNA center, suppose I am using the IP address 192.168. 110 132 right and port number must be double two and double two right and uh, you have to use here username is like maglev for cli and the password you have to configure which is you are using at the time of installation and after that uh, we have to use the first command is here on cli sudo maglev config update through this command you will get the exact portal uh, at the time of installation phase and now you can move uh, with the step you, we are getting here second interface because we have added one more interface on this DNA and I will configure here IP address ok 7 dot like 20 and net marks is this uh, slash 24 gateway is not required we have already configured a gateway if you want to configure static route you can configure using this and next hop 150.1.7.123 then we can move with the next okay error change of ip address is not supported via remote login please use the console so if you are getting this error then we have to log in through the console and how we can log in through the console Okay, here is the console login. So we will log in via console. Uh, again, username is uh, Maglev. I will close the remote session. Okay, username is Maglev. Password. Okay. So the same command we are using here. sudo Maglev config update. And here we have configured this IP address on first adapter and we have one more adapter you can see like uh, this wizard have discovered two physical network interfaces installed on the appliance so first interface we are using uh, for this network for enterprise and second network we will use for different use 150.1.7.123 net mask and the default gateway is not required again static route we can give via this command uh, slash and slash for next of 1.7.123 okay now next so we are getting here option to proceed so it will validate and configure the host because we have added here two interfaces one for this and one for the second so we have added this interface and we are upgrading the configuration uh, virtual IP address you can leave this portion and it will keep the same username and password which is configured already just uh, one minute okay next next it will take some time to validate the NDP uh, NTP server so till that we will pause the video okay so after that uh, now wizard is ready to apply the configuration on the controller so we can proceed Uh, we have to wait again for some time again it's going to configure the NTP because NTP is reachable uh, we are using the public NTP
wait for it okay now you can see the configuration is uh, succeed okay and you can see we have now two IP address one is uh, 192, 168, 110, 132 and the second one is 150.1.7.20 right so this will take 30 seconds to close or you can exit it manually okay so that how we can configure IP address on interfaces okay we can add the interface and we can configure IP address similar method you can use to change the IP address on the previous interface okay to get to know how we can change the IP address of the DNA center you can go through this document this is uh, available on the Cisco site Cisco live dot com okay and here are the steps like configure a virtual IP address while installing the DNA center do not change the virtual IP okay or third party CA validate system certificate so you have to change uh, you have to take KVM first of all using the Java HTML based and then you will get the CLI and we uh, you can use sudo maglev config update command and you can configure the uh, this configuration like IP address network mask default gateway DNS server and static route and in that case your gateway and DNS server must be reachable okay if these are not reachable device will not proceed with the functions okay so that how you can configure thank you